Uh, the next thing is code review. So for code review, uh, this tool, Codacy AI, is really useful. It can streamline code reviews by catching various bugs, vulnerabilities, and code smells. Uh, a nice feature is that it provides feedback directly in the pull requests. Uh, but one current weakness is that it has limited flexibility in customizing rule sets. Um, but overall, it's a really solid option that um, is worth checking out. And one, one of the things that I will also say here is that although this is great for productivity um, and the kind of uh, things that it does might be sufficient for um, some people's needs, if you are working on high consequence software, what I mean by that is software where, let's say, human life is in the balance <laughs> or any kind of software where a bug uh, could be horrible, like uh, cybersecurity or medical stuff, um, you know, aerospace, things like this. You should never just rely on these automated tools uh, for a code review. Uh, you need to make sure that you're cultivating um, really good human talent for being able to do reviews to make sure that um, um, horrible things don't slip into production. Uh, the kinds of things that happened, uh, you know, in recent history uh, with uh, CrowdStrike is a real cautionary tale. And uh, those kinds of things um, are really just, you, you're going to hear more of it. More of these kinds of things are going to happen in high consequence applications. So uh, it's really, really important to, to realize that, again, don't use AI as copy paste. Um, you need to cultivate human talent that's very, very good at testing or very, very good at creating solid code um, if you're doing high consequence software. Now, if you're doing stuff that's not like that, uh, I don't know if you're doing restaurant recommendation, yeah, maybe this will be good enough. Okay. Um, the next uh, uh, area is quality assurance. So uh, for quality assurance, Quoto uh, specializes in generating unit tests by using AI, by analyzing code structure and suggesting test cases that cover various execution paths. And it helps automate basic test coverage, uh, though the generated tests often require manual review to ensure that they're complete. And um, it's much better than GitHub Copilot or ChatGPT in generating unit tests. Now for GUI testing, um, a tool called Test Rigger uses uh, Gen AI to create end-to-end -end tests, uh, and it's pretty cool. It observes your application behavior and user interactions, and then it generates test scripts based on those observations and allows users to define test scenarios in plain English. So it makes it accessible to non-technical testers. And while it simplifies test creation and produces maintainable scripts, uh, it may struggle with complex or highly dynamic UIs. So expect to have human validation and iteration. Um, for operations, uh, Dynatrace has been a leader. There's lots of choices. Dynatrace is a competitor to Datadog, but um, they have been uh, really trying to put in uh, a lot of AI insights to help identify bottlenecks faster. Um, but again, you know, for any of these observability tools, uh, expect that you're still going to need human validation for complex cases. But uh, there, there's exciting things happening there in the observability space.